It was a, a fun day. It happened really kind of fast. I think I had all my fish before 10 o'clock or something like that. And the bite slowed down, but uh, I mean, they live there where I'm at. You just got, it's a grind. It's the same thing I did last year. And I finished 11th and I was only getting eight or nine bites a day, but I mean, they were good fish and pretty much the same thing this, this year too. So I'm just gonna grind it out and, and hope I get the five right bites and get them in the boat. So is there, I guess for you then, there's not a big change between last year no, it's not at all. I went through it and practiced and caught like 17 pounds from just, I never turned the trolling motor around and I didn't go back till this morning. So, you know, but I got to take advantage of every bite. I mean, I'm not getting a ton of bites doing what I'm doing, but, and it's, I'm on throwing a jerk bait, everybody knows. So catching big fish and getting them in the boat is two different things. So. Uh, today I got him. I lost one big one, and uh, would have really put me up there. But you know, I'm happy with what I have. The wind last two days didn't mess up your spots. No, nah, not really. I just changed colors with the water color. It doesn't really. If the water cleans up, I change to a color. If it dirties up, I change to another color. So it's not really affecting me at all. Can we see what the colors are, Kelly? When you change? Um, I'll show them tomorrow. Fair enough. Because I got a guy, a lot of guys fishing with me, and some of them are actually throwing jerk bait, so I got to kind of keep that on down low for right now. Do you make any adjustments to your jerk bait, changing folks or adding I, weight or anything? I, I do. I change the hooks. Uh, they're factory number five light wire, and I put a, a owner number fours on. Gotcha. That's what I've been. Uh, that's what I ran on today, on both of them, and uh, that's what I run all the time. Cadence is key with jerking. Did you dial anything particular when working all day? Not. Well, I mean, it probably makes a. I know there's some guys in there picking a lot of grass off their stuff, and and uh, I didn't really have that much of a problem with it. So I'll let you figure that out. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, did, we talked about the wind didn't mess your stuff up at all, but the weather pattern going down overall, it didn't get quite as bitter cold as we thought it might. So did the, the quickly warming day help you? Um, I don't. I actually caught them earlier this morning on the lower tide. The water was a little clear, uh, and I don't know if they could see the bait better or what. But uh, I caught them on that lower tide, and then as it came up, of course, it started muddying up a little bit, and the bite slowed down. But uh, where I'm fishing at, the water temperature really, and it didn't affect it a whole lot because it's where it's at. So uh, I can't really say more than that. But so the water temperature really wasn't that big of a factor. Just fair to say, you've talked about the guys are on the bank, leaving you alone. We can just say offshore structure for them. Yeah, yeah, offshore. Were they, was there a depth zone that, that tends to be specific for each of them? Uh, four to six foot is, is what I'm trying to get in on. Area that you caught them in today, about how long, how big is that area? Um, it's probably it's a good three or four hundred yards long, a couple hundred yards wide, and I just make a big loop around it, try to pick it apart. Talk about that big fish. Which, which in the order in which that big one well, came, and what was the fight like in getting it in the boat? Well, I caught the first one in, in practice. I've caught, you know, like I said, seventeen pounds. So I had three and a half pounders in practice. So my first fish was a, like a four and a half. That's what I called it. And then I caught the big one. So I, I had two fish for like 12 or 13 pounds. I said this, but actually it was nine pounds. I didn't know that either. So I said, I got three more fish and I'm gonna get a three and a half, four pound average. I'm fitting to blow this thing open today. And it just never happened. I started catching two pounders and I called them two pounders. They may have been two and a half. <laughs> My scales didn't work, but uh, so I actually thought when I caught those two big ones, I was gonna have a really big bag based on what I caught in there in the past, but you know, I'm, I'm pleased with what I got. Hopefully I, I'll get those three and a half more. There's a chance to catch another nine, probably isn't real good. Oh, any adventures getting that nine in the boat? I thought it was a catfish. You did? Yeah, I did. When I hooked into it, I mean, it pulled so hard and so steady that I just put the, I lit my poles up and I put my trolling motor on and I just followed it for about 20, 30 yards till it give out. Oh, yeah. yeah, I just let till it for till it give out, and then once it give out, I just winched it in and scooped it up, and I said, "That's a big one." <laughs> <laughs> Bigger than you knew. That's right. That's right. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. Thank you.